Hi, I'm Praveen Khetan from my plan education. Today in technical analysis, we're going to learn chart patterns. Now, the basics first. It all starts with drawing trend lines. As we know that there are three kinds of trend, uptrend, downtrend, and sideways. Now, I'm using again the Euro ESD daily chart. We can see here there is a low. We see another low. So what we can do here is we can join these two lows with a line and that will create a trend. Okay and when we see here there was another law formed. So if suppose we do not know at this level at this level what gonna happen next and we have actually drawn a trend line after a few days this trend line actually works for us we see the price falls below at the trend line and bounces back and we see another fallback at trend line it again fall back here okay and then there was a breakout here so what happens if you go with the trend you can buy here at this level okay and if you want to enter when there is a breakout you can put a short position here so you can go with the trend or you can wait for a breakout in this situation where should be our stop loss when we, there is a breakout a stop loss will be the previous high so this will be our stop loss and what happens let's say if we enter here let's say if we enter here what will be our stop loss obviously the previous low this one will be our stop loss previous low or the previous level there is a high and there is a lower high if we don't know what will happen next we can join these two highs one is a high another one is a lower high we see there the price actually touched this trend line twice and was coming down and then again we saw a breakout here again we can trade in two ways either go with the trend you put a short here you put a stop loss here okay or you can buy here and in this case your stop loss will be previous level okay so this is your stop loss descending triangles this is another very popular chart pattern we see here a downtrend and then we see here a support level here this creates a descending triangle now it needs again a very careful study a lot of time to observe and practice this kind of patterns because no technical analysis software very gratefully can find out these kind of chart patterns they can find different kind of candle shapes okay they can find different highs and lows based on the statistics or RSI indicators but these kind of formations triangle or head and shoulder or some other pattern you have to carefully observe it so what happens when there is a descending triangle the likely chances there will be a breakout below the support level in case of a descending triangle we see here a price pull back for some time and then finally the price went down 
we can another type of triangle is an ascending triangle we can see the air, the price is rising up and then there was a resistance line form and this gives us a shape of an ascending triangle you simply have to wait for a breakout then there is a breakout we can buy and in this case our stop loss will be below the support level now the third one is symmetric triangle in case of symmetric triangle it is hard to say that where the price will go up or down but what happens when there is a triangle normally there is lesser and lesser room to remain in the triangle zone so there is actually a nose which actually pushes price into a corner and there will be a breakout so you simply have to wait in which direction the price breaks out up or below wherever the price price breaks out okay you can enter into that direction taking a stop loss below that level or above that level so if it breaks down the stop loss will be this and it breaks above the stop loss is this one 